everyone welcome back to my channel today we are doing a full face tutorial but I really wanted to try out these new Huda easy bake powders so we're also doing that in this video today but I'm gonna show you how to get this colorful look right here my wig is from powder room wigs and I've already done my eyebrows I prepped my skin and I have put my eyeshadow primer on so we're about to jump right into it I'm using my NYX ultimate brights eyeshadow palette it's super colorful these colors are so pretty. I was so excited to play with this palette. I just had to do a colorful look, like, right away. So I'm mixing together these two purpley kind of lilac shades, and I'm putting that in my crease and outer corner a bit there. Don't really worry about the lid too much. We're cutting that anyways. No big deal. I'm just really blending out that shadow there, and I'm going in with the dark purple now with a more pointed brush, and I'm placing that right in the crease just to give some dimension. Taking my Star Crushed Minerals eyeshadow in Audacious Plum, I'm putting that right in the crease at a lot more depth to make it really, really deep. And then I kind of start taking that shadow and making it more of a cat eye shape. I just like to wing it out. I have a problem. Going over this hot pink, I'm just putting it right on the inner corner and kind of blending it in all there. And then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to cut the lid. I'm just cutting the inner corner for right now, and I'm really going over that crease. This is something I always say, make sure you go over your natural crease so when you're looking straight ahead, people can see what's on your lid. I kind of have a little bit of a hooded lid. I know everybody thinks I don't, but my lid is a little hooded, so if I don't go over the crease, you're not able to see it when my eyes are open. I blended that purple into that crease, or that, sorry, into my lid, and now I'm taking this mint color and pecking that right on top of the concealer. I go back in with the purple again just to make sure it's all blended nice and seamlessly. And now I'm taking my Lumos Metallic Liner from LA Splash Cosmetics. One end is glitter, which I am using on my lid. I'm covering my whole lid. And this is in the shade Divinity, so it's a really pretty blue color. And then I'm taking another LA Splash glitter, and these are just the diamond glitters, and this is in Marbe. It's a really pretty turquoisey teal color, and I'm placing that all over the lid as well. I kind of changed up like what I wanted to do after I did my um, liner. So I'm taking the other end of that glitter liner we first used. The other end is an eyeliner, just a black eyeliner, and I'm doing a pretty vicious cat eye with this today. And after I did the first cat eye area, I decided to connect it above the cut crease and do like a double wing thing. I don't know what I was going on. I was just going for it. I was having fun, y'all. So I did like a double wing and then I ended up putting glitter in between the end of the liner there where there's no glitter where I'm going. I ended up putting glitter there, but I didn't show that part. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do my lashes. Both of these eyeballs are painted up. And I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty Samantha lashes today. I don't, I'm so weird, you guys. You really don't know. I'm weird. I love these lashes. They're nice and long, but they're pretty natural looking. So I do enjoy them quite a bit. And I'm using my Lash Renegade Mascara from Wet n Wild Beauty first. I'm just doing the top area since we have not done anything on the bottom. And before applying lashes, I like to bend them a little bit just so they're easier to apply and they're not like stick straight. I hate that when they're stick straight and they don't want to like form to your eye shape. So irritating. And after I've applied both of those lashes, I like to apply a little bit more mascara just at the base. And sometimes I go to the end of the lash too just to make them look a little bit more dramatic. Today I'm mixing together my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light Luminizer and my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. I wanted a very glowy, 
moisturized, hydrated look today. So I'm using that first, and then I'm going in with my Primed and Peachy for where I'm at Too Faced, and I'm gonna put that in the areas where I get oily and I have larger pores at. So here is the super cute PR package that Huda sent me. Oh my god. It has all the shades on the side there. Sugar cookie, cupcake, pound cake, banana bread blondie, all those shades. And it says some really cute nutrition facts on the side there. So adorable. And then it has instructions and more of the shades again on the back. So it's so cute. It came with it gave me they gave me all the shades and the brush as well. I am obviously a sugar cookie, which is the white shade. There is no surprise there, but I actually think I could do the two shades after that as well if I really needed to. I think I could get away with all three of those shades. I'm going in with my Huda foundation. I gotta give it a fair shot, you know what I'm saying? So I'm using her foundation with it to make sure it all goes together. And I'm using my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. This is my favorite, favorite concealer that I wear pretty much every day on an everyday basis. So again, I wanted to give it a fair, the powder a fair shot um, and seeing how different it would be opposed to my normal powder that I wear every day, which is usually Laura Mercier or Ben Nye. So I'm just blending all of that out, and I like to add an extra layer of the Laura Mercier concealer just because I have very dramatic under eye circles and my eyes are super deep set, so I like to do a little extra concealer. So the powder, the top just comes off, it twists off, and then there's a little black thing that you pull off there, and once you pull it off there is a sifter, and the sifter is kind of bouncy so you can just press down on it and the powder will kind of puff up. And um, yeah, it's pretty simple. And then it comes with this brush as well. The This end is to pack the powder on and then the other end is to blend it out after it's sat and it's baked for a few minutes. I personally do bake sometimes, not all the time. Um, it does help with oil control. Your natural heat kind of blends the powder into the skin. So I personally do like to do it since I pr get pretty oily sometimes. I'm just packing on the powder on one side of my face. I wanted to use the brush on one side and then a beauty blender on the other side. Since I typically use a beauty blender to apply powder anyway, I wanted to see if there was any differences. Um, and honestly, there really wasn't any differences. It was the same. I just noticed with the beauty blender, more powder applied on than with the brush. But that's not like a necessary thing. You don't like really need more powder. You know what I'm saying? So. That's the only difference I noticed. So I sat for probably about mm, three or four minutes and then I dusted everything away with the blending side of the brush and I also just made sure I applied it on my neck and everything to make sure my all my foundation was set. And I'm obsessed. The guys, the powder is so pretty. Like it set my makeup so beautifully. I even wore it to the zoo and it was like 90 degrees outside and I was outside for a few hours and my makeup was still set and not oily. I know, and it smells really good too. It smells like the foundation, which I love, the rosy floral scent. I'm impressed. I'm taking this NYX Faux White pencil in mint cream, putting it in my waterline, and then going back into that eyeshadow palette we used first, and using this blue shade and just smoking out the under eye there. I also used that first glitter we used, the duo ended, um, liquid liner and the glitter from LA Splash and just put it in the inner corner of my eye and on the lower lash line a little bit. Then I took my Fenty Minted Mojito Kilowatt Highlight, my favorite one right now, I'm obsessed, and I use it as my eyebrow bone highlight right now. And also put some lower lash mascara on. For the rest of my face I'm using my NYX Pro Contour Palette and this cute mermaid brush from Unicorn Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with these brushes. They're so cute, guys. I've never done this with this type of brush before. I saw Nikki Tutorials do it and I was like, oh, okay. So I'm contouring with a big, thick fan brush and I actually really like the way it looks. It looks a lot more natural and more diffused. Then I'm taking this other mermaid brush and I am using it for my blush. I'm using the Lancome Aplomb blush. It's kind of like a purpley shade, which I thought would look cute with my eyeshadow. And then I'm misting my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and applying that kilowatt highlight from Fenty right on top. For lips, I'm using this Ofra Cosmetics 
lip liner. It's in the shade Silk. I'm just doing a very nude lip today. So I'm just outlining my lips just to make them look a little bit bigger. And then I am mixing together both of these Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I'm first putting on Naked all over my lips in a very thin layer. And then I'm putting um, Milkshake right on top of that just to blend it all together and make it very nude. And that's the end of this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.